What's up, suckers? Welcome back to another one. I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you guys are watching from. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you guys can see, I'm back out here, San Diego Bay, Harbor Island, and it is windy as hell. Currently 6 a.m. I'm literally the only one out here. Super duper windy. I checked the uh, the weather forecast online. It say 10 miles per hour winds, and it says gonna go on until like 11 a.m. But uh, we'll see. It is pretty damn chilly, and you guys know what? If you guys saw the video right before this, you saw me, Ken, and Oscar struggling at Harbor Island and Spanish Landing. So you know what? I I, I just say forget this. I'm coming back out the next day. I'm gonna redeem myself. And it's going to be a great day. And sure enough, the following day I'm back out here. Sunday morning, 6 a.m., Mother's Day. And it is windy as hell. And I, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to be optimistic about it. It's uh, cold. Outgoing tide. I got, I got the tide chart going on right here. We are at the first quarter of the moon phase. It is currently 65 degrees out there. Water temp is probably cold as hell. Outgoing tide. The tide will be dropping at 1034 a.m. Right now, it's currently at 2.83 feet. It'll be dropping all the way down to 0.6 feet. So, fingers crossed that something's going to be biting in this really, really windy condition right now. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me in my DMs, like, hey, how do you fish these windy conditions? How do you catch fish? How do you adapt? Uh, you know what? Today might be your lucky day. I'm going to try to fish <laughs> in these... Uh, windy ass conditions I don't mind the dirty window and stuff this car needs a car wash if you guys knew or followed me on instagram i had car problems the past couple weeks flat tire etc now my lower control arms are crapping out i'm waiting on parts for that so enough of that enough of my personal problems right now <sighs> yeah windy conditions i'm gonna adapt hopefully catch one maybe two maybe three maybe none but you guys already know my motto Big or small, I'm going to try to catch them all. And I'm out here trying to create content for you guys to enjoy at home and for myself to enjoy and learn from. And hopefully you guys learn from also. So enough of this. I'm going to, you know, put my face mask on, slap the gloves on, slap you guys on my chest, hop in the trunk, rig up, get my lines wet, and try to stick something, anything really. All right, guys, grab some popcorn. Don't forget the toilet paper, air freshener, all that good stuff and enjoy the show. Let's go. Don't mind the wind noise, guys. Gotta adapt. I'm pretty determined this morning. Let's try to get something to stick. All right. I actually brought some weights this time. We got some one ounce weights. We only got two. So I gotta use these wisely. Rocking the drop shot, one ounce to a snap to a size, I think two or three, not sure what size. Uh, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, mosquito hook, my owner. I think I got this upside down, yep. Drop shot, 20 pound liter. Let's do it. The wind is blowing to my face, so it's blowing north right now. Uh, if it all fails, I'm gonna head south and probably try Coronado. Uh, test my luck that way. That way the wind is not in my face. It'll be blowing to my left, meaning it'll be blowing north and west. You guys already know, if it is really, really, really windy, throw heavier baits. Heavier drop shot, heavier jig head, heavier iron, adapt, try to get out there. Maybe the fish is still out there trying to eat. Maybe they're not. But you know what? It's fishing, not catching. Fingers crossed we get something to stick. I am literally the only one out here. There's literally no one out here at all. Look all the way down that way. There's nobody out here. And over there, obviously, nobody over there. Yeah, this wind is pretty bad. Again, guys, apologize for the wind noise. Just going to have to deal with it. I'll try here for about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. And we'll go from there. I'll go inside. So just try fan casting around and just adapt, guys. Just adapt.
we're definitely in a boat. There it is. Damn it, lost my only white bait. Oh, no. No. Ah, shit. Ah, we'll get his ass. A bit. Yeah. He's literally like right down there. Can you help him on a rock or something? Uh, no, uh, no I was, I'm trying to find the easiest way to get my hands in there. Don't want it to die. He's just yeah. chilling. That's a tough spot down there. Yeah, I can see him, but there's no way I can get my arm all the way in. One wrong touch, he's gonna flop away. He's literally like right there I can see his fin let's see if I can scoot him over to be why well, he got to be flat man <laughs> he just fell right through like a credit card <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So i can see the top of his dorsal he's literally right there well, what can you do sometimes like yes, huh? yeah man i feel bad but i'm not gonna stop trying i'll tr i'll give it five more tries Uh, Kitech. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a drop shot one ounce. I chucked it way out there. Oh, dang. Then he just sat on it. I brought him up and I went to reach him. He flopped right off the damn hook. Oh, 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 Be amazing if I can get him out. Uh, well, you know what? It is what it is. I tried. Spent 15 minutes trying. I can't do it. Last thing I want is to hurt myself. Damn guys, I'm sorry. Harbor Island claims another casualty. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sad about it, but whatever. Stuck way out there? Yeah, you're just gonna have to lose it. Just hold the spool and just pull straight back. It's gonna snap off, but there's no way of unhooking it. 
That way you don't break your rod. Yeah, just hold it and walk straight back up. Don't bend the rod. Just put your thumb to spool and walk straight back. You just got you just got to sacrifice that that bait. Yeah. Huh? That's a good trick though. Yeah, sometimes it bends out the hook, but that's like a very slim chance. But it's better than putting a strain on your rod and risk breaking other stuff. Yeah, all right, because I was going that already. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm glad to be able to be of service. <laughs> the hell? What is this? It's not pulling. I never snag up out here. What is this? This is random. Fishing pole? A car? Door? A boot? I don't know, it could be a fish. Let's see what it is. It'll be interesting if it's a giant piece of kelp. That was weird. I don't know what it is. Now it's stuck there. It came from over there, but it's stuck over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, what the... F I literally caught a rock. It's a rock. Holy shit. <laughs> Never actually like landed a rock. But hey, first time for everything. That was uh, super random. Caught a freaking rock. Yeah, you can follow if you want. You can join me. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> Damn, it is windy. <laughs> hey, I didn't get your name. Brian. Brian, Tony. All right, so you, uh, the same spot I saw, you saw me at last time. I'll see you over there. All right, for sure. Oh man, you guys can see in the video and all the noise, it is super, super windy out here right now. There was maybe about two other anglers out here. Ran into one of my subscribers, Brian, right over there. We have decided to go over to Leisure Lagoon. Fingers crossed that it is not that windy over there. I don't know, I figured we hit up like a little lagoon area, a completely different bay, and maybe the fish is held up there and we'll have a better chance of hooking up on fish. I tried, I caught a rock, I caught a baby halibut. I sacrificed the baby halibut, I tried guys. I tried to bring him back to life. I tried, well not bring him back to life. I tried to save him and I failed miserably. I'm sorry for this wind. I'm probably gonna take this in the car right now, but I just wanna show you guys. If you guys can see, let me see on the camera. Way over there, there's two guys, or two boats. Out on the water, in the wind. Those guys are crazy. <laughs> Let's get in the car. Woo, all right guys. But yeah, it is super freaking windy. So, me and Brian, my subscriber, my new friend, my new buddy, we're gonna head over to Mission Bay and hopefully stick some over there. I tried to fish Harbor Island and it, it was just tough. I mean, I caught fish in a rock, but that wind in your face is so difficult to fish. I mean, you can do it. I'm not saying you can't, you can do it, but you're not gonna have a good time. Uh, you're gonna freaking get backlashes, wind knots, all sorts of terrible things happening. But hey, you can do it if you really, really, really want to do it. I'm, I'm not saying you can't. Oh man. But hey, I'm out here fishing. Terrible conditions. Could be worse. Could be raining. 
could be, you know, even windier. But hey, I'm out here. All right, well, we're headed over to Leisure Lagoon. So you guys stay tuned and uh, let's get to them. Let's go. We just gotta adapt, man. <laughs> it was quite a drive, though. So you got nothing for Texas rig? You have any hooks in uh, like a tungsten weight? If not, I'll set you up. Don't, don't worry about it. All right, well, we are here at Leisure Lagoon. Brian's right behind me. Say hi, Brian. Hi. <laughs> it's pretty windy over here, too really really overcast i mean it's gloomy but hey just because we're having a bad day doesn't mean the fish is not gonna bite but hey it's fishing not catching that's the main reason why we're out here we're gonna try to get them to stick because they gotta eat right and we're here to provide them breakfast lunch and dinner and maybe some dessert so you guys stay tuned sit tight don't forget to wipe and uh enjoy the show let's go so you can try this hook you can have this bait too and here's uh this is like a 3 8 ounce I don't, you can try casting it Sweet. uh here you go Heck yeah, so you just like set this on and then put this underneath it basically yep and then it's gonna be free floating oh, okay. so it's just got a wheatless setup pretty much and then when they bite you actually let them take the bait and actually set the damn yeah. thing yep yep exactly hence why i like uh Texas rigging so much. Yeah, that's cool. I apologize for the wind noise and my muffled speaking because I have my face mask on. Since the wind is blowing that way, then I get way more distance. There it is. <laughs> Heard me. I see a rock in front of me, I don't want to get caught in that. There it is. <laughs> First bass of the morning. I will take it. There it is, ladies and gents. Oh wow! I hooked one all the way in. Nice one. Very light skin color on them. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Oh yeah. Peace out, homie. I guess we're gonna head over to one more spot back to San Diego Bay and hopefully try to catch something. We're struggling out here. Well, at least I caught one and missed the bite. I mean, hey, it's something. So it is currently 8, 10 a.m. right now. We're gonna head over to downtown, probably fish next to this, uh, the Midway or Seaport Village somewhere along those lines but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far this is going to be the last spot we're going to hit up and like i said big or small man we're going to try to catch them all whether it's mackerel sardine mullet spotty sandy halibut whatever just something to tug on and uh yeah whatever <laughs> i'm out of words so yeah stick with us and pray that uh we catch something Let's go. All right, well, we're here. <laughs> Downtown. Man, there's already like, what's going on? A little street fair thing? A bunch of vendors out here? It's crazy. I don't know what you guys see right over there. There's people selling all kinds of stuff. And you guys probably recognize that. 
That is the museum. That's the uh, USS Midway, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure I'm right. And I live here and that's pretty sad <laughs> that I'm questioning my, my own city. But yeah, enough of that. Slap you guys in the chest in. Let's try to catch some fish, let's go. I'm probably just gonna drop shot. On a mission today, huh? I don't think there's any fish in here, but we'll try. Oh man, it is shallow. Something was chilling up close and swam off. Yeah, I heard that big old splash. Maybe the water's just too cold. I never do good around this bend though, like uh, where the statue is. What's up? Chilling, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's something like busting on the shoreline. There it is. Got one. <laughs> Little guy. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? Whoa, little calico, bro. <laughs> That's super random. <laughs> Little baby calico. That's crazy. Look at that. Right? Never thought I'd catch a calico inside here. They're usually by the jetties. That's awesome. Little baby. Look how small this bait I'm using. Oh, <laughs> On that pink bait Oscar gave me yesterday. There it is. Little baby. Fish tank bass. Peace out, little homie. Damn, damn, damn. Tough crowd, man. What a morning. I mean, it could have been better, but hey, it's fishing, not catching. Had a good time. Ran into subscriber Brian. Pretty much fished with him the whole time. Three hours of nonstop fishing from Harbor Island all the way to Leisure Lagoon over in Mission Bay, then right back to San Diego Bay and manage a fish at each spot in a rock. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure whoever's out here fishing is struggling just as much as I am, but if you're not, man, Keep doing what you're doing if it's working for you because I threw jig paras, irons, maki jigs, Texas rig, kitex, drop shot, and it was just tough. I mean, Harbor Island, I got my first fish out there was a halibut, and unfortunately, it fell into the rocks. I tried, guys. I tried for 15, 20 minutes to get him out, and it was either break my arm or it, it happens. I, I feel bad about it. But what more can I do? You know, I started throwing rocks, you know, tumbling rocks over, trying to get him out. But unfortunately, uh, it got stuck. But yeah, after that halibut, I caught a giant rock, right? I brought up a whole freaking rock the size of my fist. Went over to Mission Bay, caught one bass, missed a bite. Back to San Diego Bay, caught a little calico. Three species, halibut, spotty, and a calico. Never thought I'd catch a calico inside the bay, in the harbor like this ever. Uh, I think this is probably my first time ever doing that. I mean, if you guys ever caught calico out here midway and somewhere around downtown San Diego Bay, let me know. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all over the place, but just catching one, it's it's pretty cool. Windy ass morning, tough conditions, cold, gloomy, water was pretty chilly, outgoing tide, half moon, yeah. But hey, had a good time either way. Downtown San Diego. Very interesting. Ran into some interesting characters down here. Almost had a close call towards the end. Brian was there. <laughs> Very interesting, but luckily nothing happened. And I didn't get much of it on camera, or I didn't even get any of it on camera at all. But if you guys are down here in downtown San Diego, please be careful. Watch your back. Watch your six. You don't know what kind of people are out here, what they got in their bags, if they're good or bad, if they have good intentions, or they just want to be the wise guy and, you know 
cause harm to you guys so just be safe be vigilant and just have a good time watch your back and um you know use the buddy system come out here with a friend i know some of you guys like coming out here by yourself but it could be very 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 dangerous especially early in the morning and super late at night crazy things happen out here especially you know with all the stuff happening in our world today you just never know don't be a statistic just be safe out here guys all right, well, if you guys have been fishing this weekend, let me know in the comments below what have been working for you guys. The morning bite, the afternoon bite, the late night bite, the evening bite. Let me know. I'm trying to make time to come out during the evening or early evening around like 3 p.m., 5 p.m. But, man, work has been kicking my ass, and I've been dealing with, um, you know, some health issues that uh, it's I'm getting resolved. So there's that. But once time opens up, and I have that luxury to get out and do more content for you guys throughout the day rather than just early morning. I will, and I will do my best to do that for you guys. All right, well, enough of that. Everything I use in this video will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. Rods, reels, lines, lures, all that good stuff, all that good jazz. A link to the BG Fishing community on Facebook is also in the description below. And also, if you enjoy these bay videos, Drop a thumbs up. It will help me out a lot. Subscribe if you already have not. Hit the bell notification button to get notified for new videos, future videos, future content, and so on. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. As always, good fishing and peace the hell out.